What's up guys, it's B-Dog. Today I'm coming at you with another movie review. We just saw The Nun. This is my friend Cody and my other friend Christian. Hello. So as I said, we just saw The Nun. They were really anticipating this movie because they're big fans of the Conjuring series. I haven't seen any of the Conjuring movies, including the Annabelle movies. So this movie is directed by Colin Hardy. He hasn't really done anything. He's done a movie called The Hollow and a movie called The Butterfly. Don't know what those movies are. None of the actors are really mainstream. I recognize their faces somewhat. The priest in this movie, his name is Damien Bashir. I think that's how you say his name. He was in The Hateful Eight and Machete Kills. The main actress's name is Teresa Flamingo. She hasn't, I think she was in Weeds. The TV series. His name's Jonas Bliquette, and he was in Three Days to Kill with Kevin Costner. I actually remember him. I remember him in that movie, but everybody else, there's really nothing. The plot of this movie is that there is a possession, like, yeah, demon possession in an abbey in Romania, and a priest and a nun go to this abbey to see what is going on and whether or not it's unholy. And then they meet this guy, which is Jonas Bliquet, his character, who found a nun who committed suicide outside of the Abbey. And he, he gets dragged into the movie. So, Cody. Okay. I don't really know where to start. Uh, I think the story was, like, the premise of the story is really good. I think it had a lot of potential as, like, a, just the premise. You know, I was, I was really disappointed because usually in the Conjuring movies, uh, their scares are at least... Um, at least a little original, um, but in The Nun, almost all of the scares were like, you know, you could see them from a mile away, you could anticipate them. It was just, you know, unoriginal. You've seen it, like, in movies dating back to, like, the 80s, like, just normal horror cliches. Um, so that was really disappointing. Well, uh, the logic of the movie didn't really make much sense. Like, uh, <laughs> the first two minutes of the movie, like, someone says, not even God will stop this. Uh, you know, obviously at the at the end of the movie, at the end of every horror movie, whatever it is, is stopped by God. But like it, it just like contradicts itself so many times. And like there's like a part where a plot device just like implanted itself into the movie, and they're like, maybe this will help. Like, how do you know that will help? It's just it's just there. The logic of the movie is flawed. The uh, scares were really unoriginal. The acting was all right. Um, the premise was great, um, and uh, theologically, it was okay. The movie was pretty poo-poo. I'm gonna be honest with you. I went to go. I love the Conjuring movies. I love horror movies. I was I was been anticipating this movie ever since Conjuring Two came out. After it when it came out, I think the Nun was teased in the Conjuring and. And the shot, like, the sequence with the nun in The Conjuring 2 was actually, like, really good. I'm not gonna lie, probably that sequence in The Conjuring 2 is probably scarier than, like, 50% of the sequences in this entire movie, and that sequence was, like, a minute and 30 seconds long. But the, my main problem with these movies is, like, pretty much all mainstream horror movies nowadays, they recycle the exact same, like, almost sequences and flow. It's like, there, there's a problem, they get there, creepy things happen, they realize there's a problem, then they do research, then something happens, and then they have a way of defeating this when there wasn't any way of defeating it prior. And it's like an action scene, too. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know why every, in the last 10 or 15 minutes of all these horror movies, they turn into action movies, and then just like, I don't know, it's just, I'm tired of it, but like, I will say, in my opinion, it was a very well-made movie. I There were some really good shots I liked. I thought the cinematography was good for the most part. The effects actually weren't that bad. I was expecting there to be like some bad CGI, but like there's some stuff with a snake and the snake kind of looks cool like it didn't look like a bad snake and the makeup and the design for the nun was like i thought it was pretty good the acting was okay i mean i don't know it was just white woman screams a lot but but like i probably well, that's say, a really interesting way of putting it yeah i mean <laughs> in the conjuring 2 they say that the way to defeat Volley. the demon is to have its name they have the name in this movie and it doesn't do anything yeah it's like, that's not even really a spoiler, I don't, I don't think it is anyways. But like, they have the name, and, and it's like, how does a priest not know that a demon's name should do something to the demon? It gives you power over it, in this universe. But then some, some random woman from 1968 
who's a psychic, is like, if you have a demon's name, it gives you power over it. It's like 15 years later. I don't know, that kind of aggravated me. The first two acts of this movie were good, and then the third act was like a fart in church. Awkward, followed by <laughs> complete silence. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I mean, I don't know any other way to explain it. It just... It, it's not like the first two acts were great. They were good <clears throat> at parts. It was actually scary for a while. I did really appreciate it. It does something that a lot of mainstream movies suffer from that I'm really starting to key into is that it tells you a lot of things rather than showing you. And that's not as powerful. Yeah, as okay. you mentioned it, they did really a bad job at telling rather than showing. Yeah. He even opens a book and reads out of it. That's yeah. like exposition <laughs> at its finest. Like yeah, there were some genuine and scary parts. I, I was really unnerved for like 30 minutes and then it just kept doing the same thing. And it was like, okay, it's not as scary, but maybe. And then they started to make up a whole bunch of lore and they didn't even have their facts straight. Just the scares were like really disappointing. Uh, very unoriginal. Uh, the premise was great, as I said. Um, but the way they kind of drew out the movie and used the premise. There's a character I mentioned him before. For some reason I forgot his name, but his name was Frenchie in the movie. It's a fairly good looking movie, like as he said. You know, the set pieces are pretty good. The cinematography. Um, the score, I, I didn't notice it a whole ton. I know there was music because it was a horror movie. And you just gotta bang the walls down every time you do a scene with a demon in it. It was the oh. Your basic generic horror movie score. Nothing special. But yeah, see that that was the issue is that they didn't tie it up well. And the story wasn't that good to begin with. It wasn't bad, but they, they just kind of kept going with it and then you weren't sure where exactly they were going. You know, as as the movie progressed into that third act, I found the scenes that were supposed to be scary more laughable than actually scary. It, it was kind of re repetitive and you knew how stuff was going to kind of work out. And then for some reason there was a room that filled up with water. I'm like, why did that happen? Or do you know why? It was just full no, of water. It was just full of water. <laughs> <laughs> It, so it, just, just it was full of water to add to the, the climax. I don't know why these freaking demons are stupid. Like, they are always, <laughs> they're so stupid. They're supposed to be like these ancient, like, spirits or creatures with all this knowledge. And then they get booty clapped by these, like, 30-year-old people. Like, wh why? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, aren't they supposed to be able to, like, outsmart human beings? We'll just... There's also a couple parts where I laugh, too. That's never good if there's a serious <laughs> horror movie and you're out, and you're out here laughing. I don't even know what you said. I just heard booty clap. Oh, no. Final thoughts. The movie uh, was overall mildly adequate. It was... it wasn't great. Um, well, but it wasn't bad either, um, it was just okay, I'll get I'm giving this bad boy 3 out of 5 doorknobs. If you're a big fan of the Conjuring Universe, I would recommend this film. But if you've never, if you've never seen one of the Conjuring movies, or even the Conjuring 1 or 2, I would say you can skip this one. You can you can sleep on this bad boy, but yeah, that's my doorknob review. For those reasons, I'm gonna give this movie a D. So that, <laughs> that's it, guys. Uh, please, yeah, these guys don't have channels, so I don't need to shout them out. Put home slice. Put oh, my home Twitter. Home slice. Put my Twitter. Put my Twitter. Okay, I will put. I'll, I will flash it on the screen. And I'll put his Twitter in the description below. And I'll link his channel, Pope Home Slice. Check him out. He's dope. Please like, <coughs> comment what you thought of this video, comment what you thought of the movie, and then subscribe. So that's it, guys. Adios. <laughs> Sayonara. See you guys later. B-Dog, out. <laughs>